Welcome that, back to this uh, YouTube channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. This is a problem for exam MFE. You have here a list of uh, websites that show you who I am and my work. Um, I use this redirect service smarturl.it and then forward slash and you put in a word that will be easy to remember, that rem reminds you what the website is. So if you want to find me, just go to smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. And if you want to find this YouTube channel, go to smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams, one word. And if you want to read my advice on how to pass actuarial exams, go to smarturl.it forward slash pass. My uh, MFE manual for exam FM can be purchased at smarturl.it forward slash btdt dash MFE. Now you know what BTDT stands for. It stands for been there, done that, which is what you need to be able to say when you look at every problem on an actuarial exam when you're taking it. For every single problem, you must have done problems like that you have memorized the formulas, you know what to do immediately. Why? Because you have between five and six minutes for the um, preliminary exams, for these exams that we're studying here for. Well, with the exception of written answer problems in MLC, which take, have, give you some more time, but they have much longer too. But there is simply no time to think on the exam. Thinking is the last resort of the unprepared. All the thinking must be done before the exam. On the day of the exam, you must be a mean, lean, problem-solving machine. If you haven't solved hundreds, preferably a thousand at least, practice problems of all types, and if these were not really hard, challenging problems, not the problems that make you comfortable, the problems that make you uncomfortable as much as possible, so that you develop the strength and so that you feel comfortable in a difficult situation of taking the exam under time pressure. So unless you develop those skills, you will be crying on the exam, and I don't want this to happen. Please study very seriously. In this problem, we have charts for profit diagrams for four option strategies, bull spread, collar, straddle, and strangle. Each strategy is constructed with the purchase or sale of two one-year European options. Here are the first two charts, Portfolio 1 and Portfolio 2. So you have to look carefully, but if you look carefully, you'll see the, the line that is the hardest to see. Is In the first one is a declining line, then flat, then declining again. Okay, and you need to always remember that you create these portfolios of uh, options by combining two options. And when you do that, the payoff at maturity, which in this case is the, the least visible line, but the one that gives you the most information, the payoff of a portfolio is the sum of the payoffs of two options. So what gives you a declining line? Well, um, if it's for declining prices, for low prices, then that's short put. If it's for rising prices, then it's short call. Because you need to remember what the payoffs are for a call, for a put, for short call, and short put. And payoff of a sum is a sum of payoffs. For the second line, if you look at the one that is the hardest to see, and I am about 10% colorblind, so it's especially a big challenge for me, but that line looks like a v, letter V. It's V-shaped. So that tells you that you are long put and long call. And the exercise price for the two is the same. Portfolio 3. If you look at, again, the, the, the payoff at maturity, the exercise, um, 
you have um, a declining line for low prices, so short put, then the flat line, which typically means no payoff from anybody, from any of the options, and then from a point later on, you have an increasing price, an um, increasing payoff. Uh, an increasing payoff for high prices, that's long call. Finally, for the last one, uh, portfolio 4, you have a flat line, then increasing line, then flat line again. Okay, so if you studied option spreads at all, you know this is a bull spread, but we'll talk about it a little bit more. Match the charts with the option strategies, and you have bull spread, straddle, strangle, and collar. Bull spread is a strategy of buying a lower exercise price call option and selling a higher exercise price call option. So long call and short call. And you long the one with a lower exercise price. Its payoff is a flat line, then a rising line, then again a flat line. Portfolio 4 shows that pattern at expiration, so 4 is a bull spread. Color is created by purchasing an out-of-the-money put option while simultaneously writing an out-of-the-money call option. This strategy gives you gains when the underlying declines because you have a put and losses possibly substantial when the underlying rises in price because you short call. This is the pattern in Portfolio 1. Straddle is especially important, by the way, because insurance companies have a short straddle in interest rates, life insurance companies, and so they want you to know about straddles especially. Um, so straddle is created by buying an at the money put and at the money call. So you have gains when the price declines, gain when the price increases. This results in a V-shaped payoff at expiration with the center of the V lying at the current stock price, which is also the exercise price of both options. And this is portfolio two. Strangle is a strategy of buying an out of the money put and an out of the money call. It's you could say that it's a poor man's uh, straddle because it's much cheaper because the options are out of the money. Um, but you don't get the gains around the current price. You give them up because you kind of stretch the two prices apart. Um, so the payoff is no longer V-shaped, but rather results in gains when the underlying de declines substantially and when the underlying rises significantly. With flat line, which corresponds to zero payoff, but negative profit because of the cost of the options in between. And that's precisely the shape of payoff of portfolio 3. So the answer is answer D. Please remember that this is copyrighted material and also Problems from the Society of Actuaries, the Casual Actual Society, belong to those societies. I used here with permission, but they're theirs. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the exam. Although I must say, I really want you to not need any luck on the exam. I want you to overstudy. To study so much that it doesn't matter how hard the exam is. So please overstudy.